Care Dog is in studio with us today. Find out how this special canine is helping seniors in need. All that and more as Bloom, presented by Lifeguard Imaging, starts now. There's a golden retriever on a mission to keep seniors healthy. Everyone, meet Lilo, who is here with Suncoast Pace lifestyle coach, Debbie Ingram. Debbie, thank you so much for bringing Lilo in studio. She's absolutely adorable. Thank you. We're happy to be here. Oh, my goodness. I know Lilo does so much good in the community. Tell me a little bit about her role. So Lilo visits our adult day center for Suncoast Pace, and she interacts with our participants there, and they just love love when she comes to visit. Um, you know, a lot of senior citizens have had to give up their pets. They can no longer care for them. So for those people who no longer can have pets at home, Lilo is a great substitute. And it's a joy to see them interacting. Yeah, and you know, so many seniors were isolated to, you know, even in wonderful facilities because of COVID, a lot of extra precautions had to go in place. Right. So now that it's back to normal, having Lilo in interacting with the, the the patients and the people there, it must make them feel so good. Absolutely. You know, our day center is, uh, we, we like to make it as much like home as we can. Our participants spend the day there having several different kinds of activities, things to keep them mentally and physically stimulated. They get a nice hot lunch. Um, and having Lilo there is just another way that we can make it a homey environment for them when they're away from their regular home. So I, I've had a chance to spend a little bit of time in studio with uh, Lilo and I know that you should always ask when a service <laughs> dog is wearing a vest if you can touch the dog. May I touch Lilo? That's her job. All right. <laughs> yes, you are just here to make people feel good. So now Lilo, um, she, she, oh man, she lied to me earlier. Now she's just giving me. But what is Lilo's personality like? She is just a sweetheart. She's only two, so okay. she's still she's still a little bit of puppy. Uh, she loves to play, especially with a ball. Um, but she's also a really great cuddler. She so is. She <laughs> Lilo. Well, I told Lilo that she was going to make my dog Marble jealous earlier. Now she's snubbing me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But she is so sweet. She has such beautiful eyes and her personality is so docile which has to be good for you know when bringing um, Lilo around senior citizens yes you know that must be helpful make them feel comfortable as well Yes, even though she's a, a big dog, she is very gentle. Mm -hmm. And she has that instinct that she needs to be careful around people that are a little fragile. So we really trust her around the elderly people. She's very gentle and sweet with them. Tell me about some of the cool interaction stories that she's had. Oh, gosh. Uh, there are so many. Uh, we have so many people that just their eyes light up when she comes into the facility. And every day that she's not there, they're asking me, when will she be? be back so they just love to just pet her to just stroke her soft ears and look into her eyes and yeah, she has they love to give eyes. her treats and we are fortunate that we have a room where we can let her off of her leash and they get to play with her roll the ball for her so she's uh, she's very happy there she gets a lot of attention and how much time does she get to spend with the seniors um, well when she's there we're, we're usually there from around 10 to 2 or 3 um, okay. which is a oh, full day yeah. at our day center so our participants usually arrive around 10 in the morning and are, are going home by 3 so she spends the whole day she actually has her own bed and water bowl and everything there so she can relax in between her interactions so um, are, are there other ways ways to volunteer um, at Suncoast Pace? Absolutely. We love having volunteers and we employ many volunteers in a variety of areas. Um, Empath Health has a great volunteer training program. So anyone that wants to volunteer, whether it's with a therapy dog or in other ways, uh, we they can just go through our volunteer program. And how did you guys find Lilo? Uh, well, Lilo is actually my daughter's dog. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, so she, uh, she She's, uh, we, I just stole her and bring her in, <laughs> but she is trained. Right. Um, she is trained. So, uh, yeah, so we're very fortunate to be able to have her, but she's not our only therapy dog. We do have other people that bring in dogs. So we are open to having additional volunteers for that. Yeah, I was just about to.
about to ask you if Leela was the only um, volunteer uh, therapy dog, but you say, no, there are others. So mm -hmm. you can vet a dog and a yes. handler, and then they could be welcome to come in. Yes, as long as the dog has been trained and the volunteer goes through the volunteer training. Okay, mm -hmm. um, anything else exciting happening at PACE that we need to know about? Oh, all kinds of things, yes. We, um, we just this morning, I did a healthy cooking demonstration. Oh, cool. And we made air fried okra that we grew right from our garden at PACE. Okay. And I think we made some new okra lovers out of that. Okay, so. <laughs> yes. all right, well listen, <laughs> uh, maybe that's something that we could do in the Bloom Kitchen one of these days if you wanna come back. That'd be great. I've never put an air fryer to the test. <laughs> oh, well you're in for a treat. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> and you know, I, I've, I've been sort of convinced on okra, but I'm, I need a little bit more nudging. So uh -huh. you definitely have I've to come I've got the in. recipe for you. Okay, <laughs> perfect. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming in and for Absolutely. bringing Lila. We really appreciate you. And to read more about this story, just head to WFLA.com slash bloom.